right, guys, welcome back to episode two of Ultimate Team. Uh, this is actually the second time I've recorded this commentary. I just did it on the entire video and then realised I wasn't actually recording, so I was just talking to a mic that uh, wasn't connected. So, uh, going to do it probably this time, coming in on uh, episode two into the uh, the match tournament that we want to play against Mogo FC to uh, try and get our free pack with the manager objectives. And uh, diving straight in, this guy's got a very, very pacey front through with Obafemi Martins, uh, Atsu, and uh, Paulinho up top. But uh, this team immediately felt so much nicer to play with than the previous one there. Adrian showing good feet to uh, send Thiago away. It was a good shot that is well saved, but, you know, it was just so, so much nicer to play with. The, t the uh, chemistry was obviously higher, it was at 100, and um, the players felt like they knew each other. They weren't just a random set of... 10 outfield players that had just met that morning but as you can see from this uh, second highlight here he breaks away from the corner with the uh, absolute pace of love with his front three and that kind of set the mode set the tone for uh, the entire game to be honest I kind of tried to hold on to the ball as much as possible try and play my usual possession football uh, but I had to play at a slower pace to make sure that when he got the ball he didn't just immediately do what he does here pass the ball straight up to his front line and break as quickly as possible with the amount of pace that he has up top but we are able to create an opportunity here with, with Medell on his left foot trickles towards the bottom corner but his keeper does manage to get down and make a good one handed save and uh, like I said kind of showed a slower more methodical approach trying to keep the ball as much as possible and uh, we were creating quite a few chances actually. Medell with a good effort there, well saved. Adrian plays the ball to Verdu, who has a nice turn, again well saved, but we do get a spot of luck. And uh, the ball falls back to Verdu, who volleys it into the back of the net in the 31st minute, and we are well deservedly, to be completely honest, 1 0 up. Uh, we cut here just before half time, breaking down the right hand side again. Valero, our right back, plays the ball through to uh, Barcelona's Thiago, who uh, whips the ball in. Adrian gets on the end of it with a good header, but it is again well saved by Shea Given, who he has in goal. And you can see from the stats here that uh, we have had 65% possession, definitely on top, twice as many chances. And uh, I tried to do more of the same second half. We did pick up a free kick here on. Uh, just before the hour, and uh, I haven't really experimented too much with the custom free kicks, you know, with the uh, the two man and the the third man that you can now have in FIFA 13 with uh, the dummy runs, etc. So, uh, yeah, I kind of just tried to do what I would have done in FIFA 12. Tried to drill it low. Keeper did make a good save, and then from the corner he broke away again, and we were very very lucky here. Um, his pace is clear to see again on the left hand side and he crosses the ball in and thankfully Obafemi Martins has uh, the ability of, uh, an, uh, well, Emil Hesky really when it comes to heading a ball and uh, he 50p pence headed it over the bar and uh, we were very very lucky but we weren't quite so lucky there. Played the ball back with Alexis to the keeper and uh, his first touch uncharacteristically was uh, horrific. The ball was played back at not much pace at all. And his first touch knocked the ball five or six yards away from him, and I was absolutely furious when that went in. So livid that uh, the first touch control system had let me down there. But uh, didn't didn't let my head drop like I did in the last game, kept the ball, and uh, we did break away almost straight away from kickoff, actually. Thiago, the other Thiago we have in our team from Atletico Madrid gets the ball down the left, stands it up, and Adrian on the end of it. He, uh, he only has heading stats of about 72, I think, but he is surprisingly handy in the air. And he does get on the end of that cross there to put us 2-1 up. Uh, the 68th minute, I think, 69th minute. And uh, we do cut again here then to the 83rd minute, and he is breaking away, again using his pace to his advantage, and we were, again, caught another lucky break. Great shot from Atsu that bangs straight back off the post. And uh, Sissoko plays the ball down to uh, Verdu on the left-hand side, and I always advise against this. You can see here this guy diving in with his defenders. It's just never a good idea, because especially with the added in, uh, dribbling ability you've got this here, you're just going to be able to wriggle past players and uh, Medell has a good shot that's well saved by the keeper and uh, we do get a corner from it corner comes in, Adrian again with a header and somehow Shea Given saves the second effort as well a third corner and uh, keeps here, makes a mistake comes out for a ball that he was never going to get anywhere near and Mano Del Moral able to hit it from the penalty spot into the back of the net and that put us 3-1 up and uh, pretty much consolidates our position in the game, two goal lead is established and we're back on top but in the 90th minute in stoppage time no one, ever is, gonna, no one is ever going to save a shot like that absolute rifled left footed volley from Ibsen and a Usain Bolt celebration as well but uh, that is how the game ended, we do get a 3-2 win in that tournament game uh, very impressed with this team actually on first impressions so uh, 
obviously you can see that he did have a little bit more of the ball and a few more chances second half as my my players tired and uh, his pace told a little bit more but thought right we've got the match tournament win let's go into uh of your manuals from there selling for 450 coins. Let's go into the squad team, uh, go into the manager objective screen, and uh, collect our free gold pack. So uh, I tried to do that, went in, and I'm not sure whether it was a bug with the system or whether the match in a tournament game, quote unquote, has to be played in an offline game mode. So we're uh, going to come back in the next episode and play a tournament game in an offline mode and see if that helps. Let's uh, see if that does give us the 12 out of 12 task complete we can get our first free goal pack so uh, leave the video like if you could be so kind let me know what you think of the series so far in the comments and uh, I will see you in the next video in a couple of days